Welcome to driver training. Today you'll be taken through the operation of a BR612 diesel multiple unit in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction, we'll go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. Hello everybody. Now, I'm not going to try and pronounce this German route. If you have been paying attention, you would have seen it come up on the screen. Anyway, hopefully their next release I will be able to pronounce, but I'm not going to try and pronounce this German route at all, in case I totally get it wrong. So what we're doing, just in, just in case there's anybody who's looking to get into Train Symbol 2 and is unsure if they can operate the trains, what we are doing here is learning the very basics of the locomotive and every locomotive in Train Symbol 2 as a training module. Now I know absolutely nothing about this loco at, at all, um, so you could class me as a a complete amateur. Oh, look at this in here. Look at this. This is one for the kiddies. This must be the kiddie room. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at all the logos, the design and the table on there. Look at that. Attention to detail. Fantastic. So we're setting the battery power to one. We're just following the on screen. As I, I might break this door. The door keeps shutting on me. <laughs> so following the on screen instructions. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. So yes, if you if you're thinking of getting into Train Sim World, every loco has this basic um, training introduction to a locomotive that's available in the game. Oh, look at this. I like that. You can push the button. The, the button actually goes in. I'm, I don't know. I'm getting quite a little bit of joy out of opening in that window. It's a little bit bizarre. Look, I'm getting a little bit of satisfaction out of opening that window. <laughs> Come away from it. Get in the seat. Firstly, we need to activate the control desk. This DMU is powered by two Cummins QSK19 diesel hydraulic engines producing 750 horsepower each. The engines need to be started individually and are designated engine 1 and engine 2. When multiple units are connected, their engines are grouped by these designations. To start engine 1, hold the engine 1 start switch in the start position. Repeat this for engine two. Sounded a little bit like Star Trek Enterprise, didn't it? To enable hydraulic transmission, switch the power switch to on. Power switch to on. Set the brake key to activate the train brake. Insert the brake key. Brake key switch to on. Release the parking brake. Where is it? That's not the button. That's the button. There we go. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Reverser set to forwards. Take it's a quick glance a, at the platform simple, to ensure it's all is it's safe pretty before simple. unlocking the doors. Quick glance at the platform. Open this window. Let's have a look. Looks okay to me. Close the window. Sit in the seat. Press the button as well. Let's take a quick look outside at the loco here. It looks like um, if you look at the uh, a look at the right hand side there, it looks like it's got a compartment to put bikes, bicycles in as well. I know nothing about German trains. Nothing at all. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. So the doors to locked. It's quite a procedure just locking the doors, isn't, isn't it? Press that button as well. 
Train brake to running, push that forward. The combined power brake handle allows you to control acceleration and braking. To apply power, hold it in the forward position. The handle allows you to apply a specific amount of power. Once you have reached the power you require, letting go will allow it to move back to the hold position. Right, okay, this is my first ever go of this loco, so I may not be very good on the throttle and braking here. Literally is my first go. So apply power and reach a speed of 40 kilometers an hour. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Moving the handle back to the middle will lower the engine power to zero. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the combined power handle into braking and apply braking force in a similar way to applying engine power. So there was the horn. We know everybody wants to know what the horns sound like, so we pressed the horn a couple of times there. I thought it was rather good, personally. I like the horn. Now I'm playing a pre-released beta version, early access version. So, that, so the gameplay footage of this you're watching is a, uh, it's a beta build, this isn't the final version, probably the very near final version, but not the final version. So I just want to make you aware of that. The next one that I put up, because I'll be playing this, I'll be doing a few more let's plays of this route, um, the next ones I put up will be the... Uh, the retail version, the one that they released, the final release version. So this is a beta, a beta build, a beta play, and I got uh, I got early access to it to play it. So with this being a training module, I've not got the uh, advanced warning system on. I'm only just learning that. I'm still learning that, by the way, the advanced warning systems on these German, German routes. So this is this. This is my very first go, my very first look. Now I have seen a little bit on the Rail Fan TV, uh, on the official channel, um, just the other evening. Um, I saw, I saw a little bit of that. But apart from that, this is my very first um, go, my very first look. So impressions when people ask me what do you think hey wobbles you know occasionally i get people message me and they go hey what do you think of it wobbles blah 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 and all that lot. Uh, it's very difficult because this is my first go so you know i, I can't I, I can't um be very critical of it other than what i'm actually seeing here and i think it looks okay I've, regarding the sound of the logo i've absolutely no idea what this train sounds like in real life it sounds okay to me. The horn, it sounds okay. It sounds good. You can hear it. It sounds good. The view through the window to me looks pretty good. It looks pretty amazing. 
um, the level of detail, particularly in these German routes, I think is slightly better than other, than other routes. I mean, you compare the level of detail on this to um, the uh, Arosa line, you know, there's a lot more detail here. It's, uh, it's, it's really good. I think this, people are going to like it. You'll get your critics, as usual, but uh, what I'm seeing so far as an average gamer, it looks pretty good. A lot of detail. I would like the windshield, the windscreen to be a little bit more dirty though, it looks really clean. <laughs> I like the weathered look. Wait, get into the timetable mode on this. I need to learn how to drive it first. I'm going to be absolutely terrible on the brakes. Plenty of people on these stations as well as you pass through them. I take it it was tilting then. that noise is when it tilts is it I don't know it's a tilting train I believe this one I know nothing about it I literally don't I'm not going to pretend to do well, I thought that sounded good so that noise was it making that noise as it tilted I need to go watch that rail fan TV Mr. Peddleston will know trying to slow down because we're, we're approaching our stop location <laughs> it might be a bit you are now approaching the first stop apply a small amount of brake force using the combined power handle to achieve a comfortable and safe stop well I don't know about a comfortable and safe stop I've still got my owl plates on at the moment I might end up putting the train brake on. So, 1.4, oh it's kilometres isn't it? We're in kilometres here. 1.3 kilometres. Brake on five, it doesn't. It's, no, it's on seven. It looks like it's going to be, or you're going to have to learn, or you're either very, very good on the brakes, but I don't think I'm going to be very, I'm not very good on the brakes here. No, this is terrible. Still got the old plates on though, that's my excuse. Look at the detail as we come along here, all them little um, sheds and things, whatever they are on the left hand side. Did you see that? I reckon this route in the autumn, you know, where you change the weather setting in the autumn will look amazing. 
a little bit of a stutter there but this is the pre-release build as I was changing camera there I thought it was I thought I thought hey, hope something was going wrong here but pre-release build just be aware of that oh, this is an absolute terrible approach As we've been going along, would you believe it, I've actually been looking at the ground textures. The grass in particular, and the weeds and flowers and things. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, there seems a lot more detail on this. I've played a lot of Train Symbol 2 um, routes. But this one seems to have a really good standard of detail on it that possibly some of the others have been lacking. It's, uh, why aren't we stopping? I've got my brake on. But uh, yeah, the level of detail in this looks superb. Absolutely superb. Of course, this is my first go. I've not driven it all yet. Not driven it all can't stop the train I'll put the train brake on and we've overshot so now we're going to have to get on the blower and um, to contact the uh, signaler no doubt that uh, we're still on our plates and we don't know how to drive the train this is pre-release beta build by the way yeah I've overshot by a considerable amount there which simply is not good enough so got people standing on the station wondering what's going on so power to zero we should be able to put this into reverse release the uh, the train brake there and uh, go backwards just hoot the horn to warn people what's going on no doubt we will be called into the office later on and uh, be told that we failed <laughs> So let's just back it up. Oh, it's a little bit weathered on the front, isn't it? It's a little bit weathered. A little bit of weathering on the front of the logo. I'm going to use the train brake to stop it. That should be acceptable. Mm. Right, we've got to go through the procedure of unlocking the doors. Oh, what's going on there? Let's try again. <laughs> have we got the right one? I think we have. We've never all pressed the button. There we go. You do need to know your left from your right. It does help. Few passengers getting on, unaware that they've got a trainee driving the loco. But Mr. Paddleston giving me instructions through a radio system. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's Matt Paddleston, I don't know, it sounds like it. Nice weathered on the front, Luke. A little bit weathered. Excellent artwork. Really good. Nice. Right, can we close the doors? Press that button. Away we go. Wait for them to lock. There they are. Proceed to the next stop unguided this time and see how you get on. An emergency brake test will occur during the journey. Right. Forward, reverse it forward. We're all good to go. Check the station. And the little hoot of the horn just uh, make people to stand back, just make them aware that wobbly's moving off in this train. I don't really know what I'm doing. Great, doesn't it? 
doesn't it? It really does. I like that sound. Right, we've got to prepare. I don't know when this emergency stop is going to happen. But apparently we're going to go through an, a through a a a a I'm stuttering. We're going to go through a emergency stop procedure somewhere down the line here. Sitting and waiting for this emergency stop procedure. I'm all tensed up. I'm, I'm just ready. When is it going to happen? and the distant scenery look great you've got to admit on this route it looks it, it looks and what we've seen so far this is my first ever go the, the scenery and the distant scenery the trees the bushes the grass everything everything looks really good but the German routes you know I, I personally think the German routes do have a higher standard of detail on but this this particular one may be the best you very often see comments on steam the best you've ever done you know i i think you'll see a lot of them comments i would i would be surprised otherwise so uh, first impressions from this short little go i've had it does look uh, the scenery distant scenery and everything and the grass and uh, all the detail it was uh, it looks really good Maybe it's just me. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section below. We will now test the emergency brake and go over the critical steps needed to recover the train.
Now that the train has come to a stop, we need to recover it so that we can continue our journey. Wait for the brakes to release. Looks like it's got a pretty easy recovery uh, procedure. But how do you do with the advanced warning system on? Is it any different? We can now continue our journey. Very good. Oh, we're rolling backwards. We're, rolling, we're going backwards. We're going the wrong way. Bit of power. Bit more power. Got some form of traction control on or something this train. I seem to, you know, I, I, I personally think I'm a bit aggressive on the throttle, but we don't seem to be getting any wheel slip. Maybe it's because it's a nice, dry, sunny day. It'll be interesting to see in the snow how it behaves, or in the rain. Maybe it's got some form of very clever traction control on. I don't know. Quite an introduction though to this locomotive, isn't it? You know, I mean we must be on been going now for over 20 minutes. So it's quite a lengthy um, introduction to the loco. I mean some some of the uh, the route add-ons, the introductions are very short. Actually, this one's probably two twenty minutes because the traffic isn't that good. Useless on the sprawl. Let's be first go. You've got to be. Oh, where the brakes were here. Brakes, brake, brake. Stop. Stop the train. Lots of people on the station wondering what I'm doing. That lady there isn't uh, isn't behind that white line. Unlock the doors again. Still not used to this switch. There we go. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. Now this is my first go. Do I get the gold medal? Ah, I didn't overspeed, Luke. And while oh, we got the gold medal. I am surprised at that because. Um, my driving wasn't uh, wasn't that good uh, today on that with me having the old plates on but there you go and uh, that's all folks remember this was a pre-release beta build that I was playing it wasn't the final release um, and I'll see you all again in the future videos uh, more of this to come thanks for watching